Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Blake Stallings. And if you clicked on this video because you're in the market for a new ATV, but not really wanting to buy the most expensive, big bore, powerful ATV, you're just wanting something kind of in the mid range and you're just wanting to spend your money wisely. Well, maybe this video will help as we go over the features of two ATVs that I believe will be pretty intriguing for you. We've got a 2024 Yamaha Kodiak 450 EPS and then we have a 2024 CF Moto Seaforce 500. We're going to go over some of the features and such and as well make sure you stay to the end of the video because we got to drag race them, right? I know that <laughs> I know these aren't racing ATVs, but it's always fun to see how they match up when you line them up on the drag strip. So we'll do that for you just for fun. But until then, let's get into the real details. So right off the bat, we'll just get right into talking about the price. MSRP as the Yamaha and the CF Moto come straight off the showroom floor in their stock form. Of course, overlook these uh, baskets here on the rack. A customer just traded this in and uh, had those put on there. The Kodiak doesn't come with that, it just comes with these metal racks here. So just overlook that for now. But this is a 2024 Yamaha Kodiak 450 EPS model. So it has power steering and uh, we'll talk about some of the features in a moment, but let's just go ahead and put the price out there. This is starting at a MSRP of $8,099. Now let's run over here to the CF Moto Seaforce 500. And uh, this is in its stock form here. And that's just how it comes off the showroom floor. We'll talk about the features in just a moment, but the MSRP is $63.99. So $6,399. Again, the price here on the Yamaha is $8,099. That's MSRP, not counting dealer fees, prep, all that stuff, whatever your local dealer may have to charge there. So there is a pretty big price difference there. And let's first talk about some of the similarities between the two machines, and then we'll get into some of the features that one may have over the other, and then we'll talk about that price difference. They both have independent rear suspension. I'll show you that real quick. And that's what really makes these ATVs ride so smoothly. Instead of having a solid rear axle, it has independent rear suspension, which gives you a smoother ride. We'll show you the Yamaha Kodiak rear suspension here. So it's double A arm rear suspension on both. So it's gonna give you a good, good ride on both machines. You also have power steering on both of these because this is the EPS model. The CF Moto Seaforce entire lineup has power steering except for the Seaforce 400. So this does have power steering since it's a 500. Now, just to throw out the price of the Seaforce 400, it is $53.99. So $1,000 cheaper, you can get the Seaforce 400, and maybe I'll throw in some more details about it here in just a little bit. But since the Kodiak was so much more expensive, it being a 450, we decided to show you the Seaforce 500. One other feature that both of these two ATVs share is differential lock. So as you can see in the name of the Yamaha Kodiak, it's got diff lock written there on the graphics. And the way that that works, so you have two wheel drive. Let me get this to focus here. You have two wheel drive and then you push that in. It's gonna put, uh, send a signal to the actuator to put it in four wheel drive. You'll move this lever over and then you it reveals this yellow button here. You'll simply press it, it's gonna pop out and then it will lock in the front differential. Now you just press that, slide it back over, push that and you'll let the electronic actuator on the front differential. I don't know if we'll be able to see that. Yeah, there it is, right back there. That switch will send a signal to the actuator and that's how it operates the four wheel drive up front. Same concept on the CF Moto Seaforce 500. You have the switch here, it's in two wheel drive. Flop that over to four wheel drive, uh, but the front differential will still be open. Then you twist this on over and then you can push this out. It'll lock it into four wheel drive diff lock in the front. 
and then you can press it, go back to regular four wheel drive and then two wheel drive. So same setup there. And the actuator motor is on the front side of the diff on the CFMO C4. Now, I already mentioned this, I believe, but both of these ATVs have power steering. But I'll at least let you see the control configuration here. Pretty simple on both of them. And now here's your screen, your display on the Yamaha. It's pretty small, just compared to my hand there. And then here, of course that's LED, so it's kind of flickering a little bit with the frame rate that I'm filming at. But this is a really big display. It's got a protective film over the screen right now. I don't want to peel that off right now, but a little bit bigger display, or rather a lot bigger display. Both of these ATVs come standard with 25 inch tires on 12 inch wheels. So Yamaha has its own branded wheel there. And then CF Moto as well. Both are pretty nice looking. And then the CF Moto C Force has a little over 10 inches of uh, ground clearance, and it has these arched A arms, so you get even more of that clearance throughout the width of the machine. Whereas the Yamaha is 9.7 or something like that, it's under 10 inches of ground clearance, and it has just straight. Uh, front A arms, not arch like the CF Moto C Force here. So you, you technically get a good bit more ground clearance and surface area under the CF Moto C Force. So I guess that does kind of shift us into some of the differences that the CF Moto has with the Yamaha. One being that this one has LED headlights and it has this LED accent light as well when you turn the lights on. So it's pretty nice. And then your Yamaha, we'll turn the lights on here. It does have this uh, center mounted headlight, which is nice to have, but it is not LED. Neither is the headlights here. The CF Moto C Force 500 comes standard with a winch mounted from the factory. And it's got the wires ran up to here for your controls. Now on the Yamaha, it does not come standard with a winch. This customer had to have that, had to purchase this winch extra and have it installed. That is an extra accessory that you would have to install yourself and above the price of your Yamaha, whereas the CF Moto comes standard with that. Next would be the painted plastics with the clear coating on the CF Moto C Force, whereas you have the injected molded color on the plastics here. Now I will say that this does have a pretty neat textured look, textured finish on the Yamaha in certain places. And then it has the gloss here, but you can see that's scratching up pretty bad. But again, this is a used one. That one is a new one. The CF Moto C Force does weigh a little bit more than the Yamaha Kodiak 450. I'll put the weights here down in the screen below because I can't remember them off the top of my head. But the Yamaha does edge it out as far as being a little bit lighter. Now we'll let them both, we'll crank them both up and we'll see how they sound. Okay, now we'll crank up the C Force 500. Come here. see if one drowns out the other.
neither one of them is very loud at all. And they both sound pretty good. You tell me down in the comment section what you think about the difference. They definitely sound a lot different when you start giving them throttle. But, hey. Now one thing I'm not gonna be able to explain to you, I would highly recommend for you to come try it yourself, but that's how you feel sitting on the machine. And also once you sit on them and see them in person, you can see the build quality and feel the quality of each of these machines and really be the judge there on that as well. But I will say this seat is more plush on the CF Moto C Force than here on the Yamaha. It's a little narrower there, which some may like that, but this just feels like it gives it a more plush ride as you're riding on rougher terrain and stuff like that because a lot of that is absorbed through the seat. So as far as storage goes, uh, I'm looking on the Yamaha here and there is no storage unless there's something up front there. I don't think it is. Yeah. Guys, if you do have a Yamaha, let me know, but uh, I don't think there's any extra storage there. And then the only place there is on the C-Force 500 is this rear compartment, but it is pretty large. The opening don't seem that big, but I mean, watch this. I mean, I've got my whole forearm in here because the box goes down and around over to here, not just straight in behind the tail light. So a really big compartment area, as you can see there. So that's nice to have. One other thing is the what comes standard at all times on the CFMO C-Force is a one-year factory warranty. The Yamaha comes with a limited six-month warranty. Of course, you can buy extended warranties for both, but the fact that the CF Moto comes with a one year and the Yamaha Kodiak comes with six standard, that's a big benefit of having the CF Moto. Now, right now, it's the summer months of 2024 and CF Moto is running a promotion where these are getting a three year warranty. It's just a little added sales promotion there but that's pretty cool that cf moto is doing that showing that they're back in their machines as i always suggest to everybody when you're picking out a new atv or side by side or even a motorcycle you need to go put your hands on these machines go sit on them look at them and see which one you think you would be proud of as far as the looks how you feel comfortably on the machine because being comfortable on your machine is important because when you're comfortable you have more confidence and you will drive better and you won't be as nervous when you're driving it when things get a little sketchy on the terrain so yeah that's that's my recommendation there you never want to regret your purchase be proud of what you get but guys in today's economy man it's more important than ever to spend your money wisely don't just buy a machine based upon its name do the actual homework and see what is your best bang for your buck in my opinion it's no doubt the cf moto c force being that it's so much cheaper but you're getting performance build quality uh warranty so many other standard features with the c force 500 over the yamaha kodiak now let's quit yapping and let's go race these things just for fun and we'll do an outro all right guys this is just for fun we got the kodiak 450 We've got Joel on the C-Force 500. I'm gonna hold this GoPro and we're gonna do just a quick little drag race again, just for fun. Here we go. All right, on you, bud. One, two, three, go.
Hey, you know what would be fun? What? Race the 400. Perfect. We started dead even. Yeah, yeah, we took off right at the same time. Okay, so Joel's gonna go grab a 400 and uh, we'll race the 450 with the 400 and see what happens. Again, I want to say I do acknowledge these are just utility four wheelers, four by fours. They're not made for racing, but it's still fun to see, you know, how they compare when you line them up. But uh, we'll uh, snap to Joel on a Seaforce 400. We're in high gear and we'll punch it and see what happens. It's gonna be close to 400, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Start. Yeah, what Joel's saying is from experience, we know that the Seaforce 400 is uh, slower off the bottom end, but once we get to mid range, it should be pulling pretty good. So we'll see how the 450 Yamaha and the Seaforce 400 does. As you can see, the 400 is no slouch. The 450 has a little more bottom end torque, but as you see, as we navigate on through the mid range and to the top end, the 400 starts pulling pretty hard. And the 400, if I need to remind you again, I'll put the price in the bottom, way cheaper than this 450. And the Seaforce 500 is, yeah, 2,000 cheaper than the 450 and it's got the winch and everything so when you go to adding all that to this machine you're spending a lot more money uh, but i may be a little biased but i think the seaforce 500 or 400 is definitely the smarter smarter choice to go with uh, you're getting the best bang for your buck the best performance dependability you get a longer warranty with it it's just the best option but anyways, let's go close this video out. You go and you decide for yourself. Do your homework. Do your research. Don't just buy something just because of the name on it. Get what actually makes sense, especially in this economy. Get the best bang for your buck. You can come here to Main Street Cycle. I promise you it'll be worth the drive. Come see us in Tishomingo, Mississippi, and you can go to MainStreetCycle.com, and you can check out these machines for yourself. We have the entire lineup here all kinds of good options We've got side to sides motorcycles everything you could possibly want the cf moto c force 500 definitely my pick in this uh shootout here and uh yamaha still a great machine no doubt about it but for the money and for what you get you can't beat the c force 500. anyways guys if you need parts and accessories for your atv side to side or motorcycle go to teammscparts.com and check out all that we have to offer you there. Also, like I said, go to MainStreetCycle.com if you want to check out more about the CF Moto ATV side sides and motorcycles. God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.